Hello, and welcome to Now You're Cooking with Gas. This video is about critical hits, lucky shots, and a damage calculation class to wrap it all together. We're going to start by removing some print statements. And I'm going to add one to the projectile. Switch this to the other component. And in the hit result, The hit bone name. So when we hit our enemy character, you can see that it's hitting the collision cylinder and none for the bone name. The reason this is is because the capsule component is or rather, the projectile is hitting the capsule component. So to prevent that and allow it to hit the mesh, which will then show you the bone that's hit, I'm going to add in Project Settings, Collision, a new object channel, and call this projectile. Leave the default responses block. And now projectile shows up down here. We're going to have to switch the preset to custom and ignore projectile. In the projectile, we want to change the collision type or object type. It also requires changing this to custom. Object type is now projectile. And we'll just turn this off down here because projectile should not hit projectiles. Now when we hit it, you can see that it's hitting the Manny skeleton mesh. And where it hits, uh, the bone name. To see the values that it's hitting for the bone name, you can go into the uh, enemy character mesh. Go to the mesh that's being used with this button. And if you just hover over, you can see that the physica, physics asset that's being used there is PA underscore mannequin. To find that, we can just go to that folder or open this find the physics asset here, go to that, open that, and you can see that the uh, some of the bones have areas signifying that uh, when they're hit. So for this functionality to work, the skeleton has to have a physics asset. So now the challenge becomes how to make this headshot affect damage. Uh, there are a number of ways to do this, including sending a bool, signifying it's a headshot to the damage attribute, or using a different gameplay effect on headshots. Instead of GE damage, we could use GE damage headshot or headshot damage, uh, or maybe sending the bone name to the damage calculation, which we'll, we'll get to what the damage calculation is after this. The last option is effectively built in with no extra code, so we're going to go with that. And the way that that works is in our projectile where we are getting the spec handle. We can call get effect context. And this has a function called add hit result.
this hit result is over here. Include that there. So then that will be sent along uh, to the damage calculation when it's being used, and then also to the damage attribute being changed in code. So we're going to close this and go there. So in our attribute where our in damage value is being set, I'm just going to scroll to the bottom here and add some output. So we're getting the effect context like we have been up here. Uh, and then effect context, get hit result. Uh, as long as that is valid, we're just going to print out the bone name. Bone name here is an F name, so you need to use a two string and send it as a reference. I'm going to compile that. I'll run the editor again and then hit the character. So UE log will output here. Now you can see hit bone name is fine, etc. And head. So we can see that it's working in the in that function. All right. I'm going to add the damage calculation class now. So a damage calculation is subclassed from gameplay effect execution calculation. I'm going to create this. I'm going to name it GG. Gameplay effect damage calc. With that done, we'll close that, reload project. Uh, before I get into this, we need more attributes. So I'm going to add three new attributes to this class. Crit chance, crit multi, and lucky chance. I'm going to add the three on rep functions. Set some default values. I set crit chance to zero, crit multi to 1.5, and lucky chance to five. We need the more the setup for the replication. And then the three rep on rep functions. We compile for my sanity. So crit chance will be the uh, the chance to add a damage multiplier on a headshot. So when the headshot is detected, it will just increase crit chance by 100 uh, and then do a random check against 100. Um, so all, all headshots are crits, but not all, not all crits would be headshots. Lucky chance is similar to how crit is used in some other games. Lucky chance will just be a flat chance uh, that damage is multiplied. Uh, in some games, there are pieces of uh, equipment that can increase uh, crit chance crit multi or lucky chance and with the gameplay ability system that is pretty easy to do. So we're going to go into our new damage calc function class rather. We need to include the execute implementation uh, function for that. Then in this 
cpp file, we need to include that function as well as some setup. I'm going to paste everything in and then go from the top. So first we're going to create a, a struct f damage statics. Uh, what this is doing is it's basically uh, declaring all of the attributes that we want to capture. So for us, that will be in damage, crit chance, crit multi, and lucky chance. And then in its constructor, uh, we are defining the attributes that are captured uh, and their, their source. So all four of these values are coming from the source. If we had something like resistance to damage, or if we had moved armor and health into the damage calculation, it would, it would have those lines here, and it would be target instead of source. So the constructor for this class, the damage calc, is just going to um, add relevant attributes to capture. Uh, in the implementation of the function that actually does the magic. We're adding some boilerplate just to get the, uh, the ability system component from both the source and the target and getting the tags for both. Uh, then the important part, we're getting the in damage value, which was the value that we set in GE damage, which is where this is going to be hooked up, the damage set by caller tag. So we're getting that damage. We're setting the default values for these, and then these three lines, similarly, we'll get those values, uh, but instead they're getting them by calling attempt calculate captured attribute magnitude. What this is doing is at the time that this function is called, um, it's, it does all the calculation, which includes um, the changes to the attributes themselves. So what we're doing here, similarly in the other function, up here, which I'm going to remove now. We have the context through the spec. Uh, we're getting the hit result. Um, if it's valid and the bone name is equal to head. Um, so this is the value that our mannequin is set up with. This may vary depending on how your skeletal mesh and physics assets are built. Um, but if it is a headshot, then we're just saying crit chance is increased by 100%, so guaranteeing a crit shot. We're getting crit multi as long as it's valid. If the crit multi was 1 or less than 1, uh, it would actually be reducing damage, which, which, we, which we do not want. Uh, we're just doing a rand range here to get a value between 0 and 100. If it is less than or equal to the crit chance, then it's a crit. The end damage will be multiplied by the crit multi. Similarly, uh, we get the lucky chance. If the lucky chance is valid, so greater than zero, we're setting the lucky multi to one. And then in a while loop, instead, uh, every time that the random value is less than the lucky chance, we just we subtract 100 from the lucky chance, uh, and we increase the multi by one. So what this means is, because our lucky chance is just five, uh, this can happen once if it's if it randomly chooses less than five, it will increase the lucky multi by one. So lucky multi will be two. Um, and then this will be valid. Uh, and damage then will be multiplied by two. If the lucky chance were like 250, 250, or sorry, the chance from zero to 100 is going to be less than 250. Um, it will subtract the chance by 100. So it will add one to the multi. This will become 150. It'll do the same thing. It'll it'll add one to the multi, which put it at three. This will uh, this will become 50, and then there's a 50-50 chance that it will do it a third time. So then your damage would be multiplied by three or four in that case. Um, and then we are just adding the output modifier so that the new value of in damage is being set. And then we're just logging the damage because in the uh, enemy character it will stop showing it once it's at zero. And for testing, we want to uh, make sure that we're seeing the values. So we're going to compile that. Run the editor. We're going to not forget to add it to the GE damage gameplay effect. So in GE damage, we just need to add an execution, and this will be the one we just created. So 
So you can see that the uh, our projectile, which is doing five damage, it did five damage. Hit it enough times. And it's doubled because of the lucky uh, the lucky chance. If we hit it in the head, you can see that the damage, which is five, was multiplied by the, the crit multi, which is 1.5, so 7.5. If we hit the head enough times, you can see that uh, both a crit shot and a lucky lucky chance shot uh, are both successful. So the damage of five has been multiplied by 1.5 and then also multiplied by two. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video and would like to see more, you know what to do. If you have suggestions on future content or abilities you would like to see, let me know down below.